we got a guy here who puts some um, flammable materials in his uh, trailer there. And uh, then he went to the local shopping center. There's a five guys back there. And he got a cup of coffee and planted himself, at an, I guess, in a chair. And then he watched his vehicle burn. He set fire to his RV and then went to get a cup of coffee. <laughs> Jeez. This is uh, from WMMB, MBB, and WMBB Panama City, Florida. Apparently he was a transient, poured an accelerant in his uh, recreational vehicle, set it on fire, then went to get a cup of coffee. The Panama City police uh, said that just happened uh, a week ago, so that was in early, very early December. The incident happened at 9 a.m. in the parking lot of the Panama City Shopping Center, Square Shopping Center, after fire and fire and police officers and firefighters rushed to the scene to put out the blaze, whatever. And anyway, so uh, they, uh, uh, we'll, wait, Thomas was his name, 30 years old. He was enjoying a cup of coffee and watching the scene. Police wrote in a news release, witnesses directed investigators to the guy, and he was arrested and charged with arson. Anyone with more information is, is, can call the Panama City Police at 850-872-3100. But apparently, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the camper was, you know, it was, a, it was a Walmart. Okay, it was at a Walmart on, 30, on, on 23rd Street, and no one was hurt, but there it is. That's what happened to it. <laughs> He's... I guess he didn't want to get rid of it, right? And just, uh, hey, you know, rather than just abandon it somewhere or push it down a cliff, push it over a cliff, he just thought he'd set it on fire and uh, go have a cup of coffee. I don't know, man. Can't do that. Can't do that. That's against the law. Letters, 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 letters for the uh, 14th, of, no, 14th of December 2021. Uh, no name says a Tesla Plaid Model S is $130,000. Now, why is that relevant in today's letters? Because that was the car that Will Prowse, the um, guy who runs the solar power channel with all the batteries and power stations and all that. He's, he's gotten very wealthy doing YouTube and uh, has a beautiful house there in Vegas and a couple of cars, including a $130,000 Tesla Plaid Model S, which is um, apparently not, again, he, he had a lot of criticism of problems with this brand new car. Billy Bob says there are very few nomads I follow uh, anymore. Uh, I follow, uh, yeah, whatever. And Morgan is played out. Morgan, I think, is one of the many nomads we see that just seems to have run out of content. <laughs> you know, I mean, really, you know, you get to a point where you just kind of, you, you get dependent on the YouTube income and you just kind of run out of interesting stuff to put up anymore, right? You know, it's the, either the same thing over and over again or you're just kind of sitting still. We like to see Morgan on the on the move, okay? We do like to see her moving a lot. And she's got a house now in Memphis and is just kind of doing, you know, building out the, the other Bronco she bought. So, I don't know. Apparently, you can return your dislikes. I mean, I mean you can return to the dislikes Thing. You know, YouTube took away the dislikes the other day. They still have the dislikes, but it doesn't add up numbers like it used to. You know, you can see how many likes you got, but now it just gives you dislikes with no number on it. If you want to see the dislikes, right, Sala13 on YouTube videos and you use the Chrome browser, the extension Return to YouTube Dislikes restores that function. But basically, why would I care about seeing my dislikes, you know? It's like, I don't care. But that's okay. And Sal of 13 also says, Drama in Itchy Boots Norley's world is crossing a waist-deep river in Ecuador with a motorcycle. In Carolyn's RV Life's world, Drama is buying tires. <laughs> that's very true. She made that very dramatic last year, didn't she? Oh, yeah. So RV camper Marie posted a video about visiting the Magic Circle there at Quartzsite, which is a um, clothing optional campground. She says she saw one naked man walking his dog, and the dog had a sweater on. <laughs> so the dog was had clothes, but the man didn't. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, the dog, just kidding, the dog, the man was naked, and the dog was naked too well, had his fur on. Anyway, clothing is optional, and the consensus is that more men are naked than the women. Hmm. Very interesting, Marie. 
FD McKay, uh, Mackie, FD Mackie says, why are school buses and shuttle buses retired and sold at auction? Because they are worn out mechanically. Why are converted schools, school and shuttle buses always breaking down and expensive to repair? Because they're worn out mechanically. Look, we see people buying box trucks too. You know, the U-Haul box trucks. Uh, you know, the reason they're getting rid of those is they're kind of at the end of their lifespan, I would imagine, and they're probably really beat up and need to be, you know, and need a lot of repairs, right? So, yeah, you do buy a used school bus, a used box truck, some sort of used commercial van, and you're probably going to have to put a lot of time and effort and money and repairs into it. You might get a good price on it because it is pretty used, but, you know, that's the trade-off. But the thing is... The more repairs you got, the more drama for your YouTube channel, right? There is brilliance there. There truly is brilliance there. I'm trying to guess where in Arizona Nomadic Fanatic Eric is going. Uh, I was saying I made the guess Kingman because his friends camping with the Kellys are there. But Lee says it's too cold for Derek Eric there. It's 30 plus degrees at night and 50 plus in the daytimes, burr. So yeah, he'll probably head, I guess further south, down to Tucson, Phoenix, or Jason70 says, I unsubscribed from Morgan the other day. Anything I really want to know is in your videos. Again, we don't want to, you know, we like these nomads. We tell you what they're doing, but we're not encouraging people to unsub from them. I, you know, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, keep them sub, but, you know, we can't report every, I can't report everything they do, but you certainly can, you know, get, get, get a good idea of whether you want to watch their, you know, some of these people like these YouTubers, 38 minute videos, 45 minute videos, as long as a TV show or longer, uh, you know, we, we at least give you the idea of whether you want to watch stuff or not. Leisure 057 blank says, Will Prowse, I started watching him when he, he was living in an RV parked on the street with all the other homeless near San Francisco. He is his own success story. Amazing guy. Yeah. I mean, he now owns a fancy house there in Vegas and has a $130,000 Tesla and another car that's probably equally as expensive. So he has done very, very well on YouTube. Paul says, Itchy Boots, Norley is great content. It is a real adventure for her, for her, and she's alone with her, and she's alone with her bike. Okay, we're trying to guess whether she has a team with her or whether she really does travel alone, going out in the middle of nowhere, in the jungles of, from the jungles of Ecuador to the, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, the deserts of South Africa, Namibia, She's out there, right? She speaks seven languages, I believe, says Jim. Yeah, seven languages. Okay, what's that? Yeah, well, she does. No matter where she goes, she's able to communicate with people, right? English is, of course, a big one. You could, you could probably, you know, most places you can probably get by with English, but I know Dutch, you know, and uh, what other language do you think she's speaking? Yeah, probably German, because the Netherlands is right next to Germany and French. I don't, I don't, is it Scandinavian's not a language, is it? I don't know. Nomad Dreamer says, in the middle of watching that Itchy Boots video where she is trying to, there it is, scary river video there where she's, uh, cr she's crossing over that, yeah, it, it's, it's, you know, a couple of foot deep water. Uh, you hear a quivering in her voice, really conveying some fear there, but one thing I don't get, why are you not allowed to mention Nomadic Fanatic in your videos, but Line Screw One can mention Carolyn's RV life? Not that I'm a fan of CRVL, but just curious. <laughs> uh, we're not, we are allowed to mention anybody we want to, okay? I do it as a joke. Certain nomads over the past year or two have contacted me and said, please don't mention me anymore. I don't want to be on your channel. Well, if you're going to be posting videos on a, you know, every other day, whatever, you know, when you've got hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you don't have that option, okay? You're putting your stuff in public. I can talk about you. But the joke we have at the channel here is, okay, I will just give you a name like, you know, like what your name is, Derek Eric. Carol, Carolyn, uh, uh, you know, Kenny, Kevin. Yeah, you know, these are people that have asked me, please don't cover me anymore. Hey, but you're putting your stuff up on, in, on YouTube before hundreds and thousands of people, and I'm not allowed to talk about you anymore? 
No! AD, KCADV says, schoolies continue to trash the RV or image worldwide. Hmm. Well, you know, schoolies aren't always the fanciest, schmanciest RVs out there, but, you know, they, they seem to be nice people most of the time that are in them. And, uh, you know, hey, you know, there's uh, economics has to do with a lot of things. And, you know, some nomads are richer than others, and some can have beautiful Class A's with slide-outs and piano bars and stuff, and some can afford an old bus, you know, but I, you know, it's... No, I, you know, you know, they may, you know, it's kind of like the low rent district, but hey, they even take care of it and, you know, and be a good steward of the land. What's wrong with that? It's, it's running. Santa, Santa Dave brings you a nomadic Christmas. Better than Bob. <laughs>